Most implementations of mean variance optimization accept only the classic inputs, returns, variance and correlations. While this is theoretically sound, this basic approach does not handle the realities that face actual investors. The art optimizer goes well beyond these basics to consider essential issues that affect real investors, such as taxes, transaction costs and turnover. The art optimizer also elegantly adjusts for potential estimation error, the risk that past performance may not indicate future results. The financial analyst can enter both income tax and capital gains tax rates for the investor, and the system will properly allocate assets based on this inescapable reality. Likewise, transaction costs are a vital aspect of real-world investing. These costs differ between assets and cut directly into expected returns. The art optimizer is built to consider these costs. In addition to the usual asset constraints, the art optimizer can be constrained to limit turnover. Without this feature, an otherwise optimal portfolio could easily be impractical and expensive to implement. One of the principal criticisms of the mean variance algorithm is that it is very sensitive to estimation error, the risk that the input data are incorrect or that there will be a structural change in the market. There is extensive literature describing the tendency for return estimates in particular to be subject to significant error. The art optimizer handles the risk of being wrong in a powerful way with a Bayesian adjustment. This is how it works. If we believed that our estimates were completely accurate, then a traditional mean variance optimization would represent our most rational investment, a portfolio on the efficient frontier. But if we believed that our estimates had no predictive power, then the most rational investment would be the minimum variance portfolio, at the bottom of the efficient frontier. The truth is somewhere between these extremes. The Bayesian adjustment is a weighted average between these two weighting schemes. Based on the statistical properties of the data, the art optimizer calculates the appropriate balance. By making this adjustment, we are compensating for the uncertainty in our estimated returns and the possibility that assets will behave differently in the future. Backtesting gives important insight into how a portfolio would have played out given actual history. But most backtesting systems only let the user optimize once at the beginning, and then the system will do periodic rebalancing to this original allocation. This is not realistic. No intelligent investor would ignore financial information as it unfolded across decades of history. To handle changing conditions and new opportunities, investors re-optimize periodically. Art lets a financial analyst backtest a portfolio in this realistic way, re-optimizing and rebalancing at specified periods. This chained optimization only uses the market information that is available at each point, reflecting the time-dependent decision-making that would have taken place. The art optimizer and backtest system generate a wide range of reports and charts. These can all be exported into spreadsheets or presentations for further analysis. Optimization and backtesting are essential steps in the asset allocation process. The art implementation of these methods include many innovations that make the process realistic or reflective of the way that a well-informed investor would face opportunities, costs, risk and uncertainty in the real world. We encourage you to consider adding this innovation to your firm's decision-making process.